Okay, hello! Welcome back! <laughs> so, I am today going to, as quickly as I possibly can, give a little overview of my third month on Accutane. I'm actually about a week or so into my fourth month of Accutane. Normally I'm able to film these videos a little bit quicker, but I'm in the process of moving and all of that has sort of shifted my schedule around. That being said, I am in New York City right now, so there also might be some loud noises coming from the street, which I can't turn off, so we're just gonna work with it today. Um, today I do wanna talk about my skincare routine. I'm gonna talk about just sort of the differences in my skin over the past month. Um, I have changed climates from humid Texas to cold, dry, windy New York City, so I'm going to talk about that. But just getting right into it, I'm just going to talk about the products that have really been saving my skin. So since coming back to New York City, I have definitely noticed a difference in my skin. My skin normally at this time of year when I am in New York gets dry, even when I'm not on Accutane. So the combo of Accutane plus my already normally dry skin has created some just dryness across the board that I'm going to, that I'm still working on. And if anyone has any recommendations for how, for their, their most favoritest ever moisturizers, please point me in the direction of them because I'm still not convinced I found like the holy grail of items. But I have found two items that I think are incredibly helpful and have really helped my skin. So the first one I mentioned in my last video, it is The Ordinary. It's The Ordinary, they're squalene or squalene, IDK. Um, they're plant-derived squalene serum, I guess. I will show you the texture of this. It comes with a really pretty dropper and it's a pretty runny texture and it's clear. It feels awesome on your skin. It's super hydrating. I will say, I don't know if you can tell too much on, on my hand, but it definitely leaves you looking a little wet at first. It's super dewy. Eventually it does sink into your skin though. Like I probably put this on my face about an hour ago and I just look hydrated. I don't look like wet anymore. And then the moisturizer I've been using, which I've also been using on any super dry patches on the rest of my body. I've been using the CeraVe moisturizing cream. Do, 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 do. This is awesome. I think it's a really simple, just sort of plain moisturizer. It has no scent, which I love the Willetta moisturizer that I mentioned as well. I just, I really don't like putting something that's that fragrant on my face. I'm still using it across on my body and on, I would still use it on a dry patch on my face too, but this has been able to replace that and now I can use this on my face and on the rest of my body and it's it comes in a huge tub which I love. I do wish it was something that had like a pump or a squeeze because I feel weird dipping my hand constantly in the same thing. I feel like that's not necessarily the most sanitary. And then of course my lanolin. The combo of these three things has been able to keep my face hydrated and not super embarrassing. I still get my, my lips are still cracking on the edges but like right now I'm pretty much healed. As far as progress, so I've been fairly zit free for the most part. Um, I recently I've been having a lot of days where I need to be masked all day long. Most of the time I spend my time at home, so I'm not wearing a mask, but these past few days I've been apartment hunting, which has been like six hours straight of me wearing a mask, which I know is fairly common for a lot of people. It's just not, I'm, I haven't been used to that. I haven't needed to be wearing masks. So, I've been having some mask knee, but my mask knee is very, very mild. I've been getting like a few little red dots on my nose. You might be able to see them when I zoom in later and just a few little white heads on my chin, but they go away super fast. Um, they're nothing like the cystic acne that I had before I was on Accutane. Other than that though, I've been mostly zit free. I would say that it feels, it feels like a, a completely, new person's face. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about a little bit about my progress though. I feel like my um, hyperpigmentation that I was really dealing with a lot on my chin and around my mouth is fairly gone for the most part. Fairly gone. That's not good English. I will say my skin gets red a lot more 
easily like when I put on my moisturizer my skin gets red just from me touching my face like it probably will just because I was touching my face just now so it's just a little bit more sensitive but it's not red because of like acne scarring and, and hyperpigmentation so I do want to talk about my side effects that I have been experiencing over this past month so of course I have the dryness that I had mentioned already that's absolutely to be expected with Accutane and that's an easy one that you can sort of those are side effects that you can treat, right? Like you can over moisturize and you can make sure you have good lip balm and all of those things. Beyond that though, I have been experiencing um, problems with my vision. So <laughs> beyond that though, chap lips, dry flaky skin. Oh, let me show you my skin. I should zoom in and show you, right? So I mostly want to show you guys my chin area because this is where I have the most hyperpigmentation or this is where I did. This is where I experienced the most acne and hyperpigmentation is like right here. I've said it in other videos, but just in case somehow you're just now seeing this video, this is um, not acne. This is like permanent part of my face. This is my cracked lip, which it is a little cracked. I put Neosporin on it. I find that it's just kind of hard to avoid. My lips definitely look a little chopped. I have, this is a little, a little white head right here. I've, these are some zits I've been getting from wearing masks. But other than that, like the, the texture of my skin is so much better and the color of my skin is so much more even and so much less red. So you can see there's definitely some redness right here a little bit, but I think that's a combination of like me touching my face right now and just having semi recently putting on moisturizer. I think it's good that you can see that there, I am experiencing more redness across this part of my face. I also find that I can get hot really easily and then I'm, I'm, I get really flushed when I do get hot. Like I'll get out of the shower and I look very red in the face. And I think that's part of Accutane too, just cause that wasn't where I was at before I was on Accutane. Since I don't have progress pictures this month though, I wanted to just compare this video intro that I recorded from my um, thrifting the runway video from about five or six weeks ago. And I'm not wearing any makeup in that video. I don't have any active acne, but you can see that my hyperpigmentation is pretty crazy. I just have a lot of redness around my chin and, and mouth, like I said. And hopefully I can do like a little split screen action. And you can see like, I'm not suffering from that anymore. My skin is becoming so much more even across the board. The texture of my skin is fairly nice. I have some dry patches, but it was always kind of lumpy. <laughs> and now it feels so much more smooth. Yeah, I wish I had more to share with you guys. Honestly, I feel like this part of my journey, I kind of expected Accutane to work slower and so that I would have more to say in all of these videos. But basically my update is my skin is getting better. My eyesight might be getting worse. And that's kind of the summary from this video. Um, I will keep you guys updated. I, I will post another video next month, probably from a different location than this location. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.